Awesome. So now you have installed the Facebook pixel on your website and it is now active. So now the next step is creating a custom standard or any kind of event which you want to track. All right. So for that, what you need to do is you need to click on create conversion. All right. And then you'll have two options over here, track conversions with standard events or track custom conversions. Now you might be wondering if you have just lost this page, all right, this particular page, then how to come to this page? You have certain methods. You can directly go to this link, facebook.com slash ads slash manager slash pixel slash Facebook underscore pixel or you can go to your ads manager by clicking over here if you are able to see the ads manager over here your manage ads you will have this kind of tab over here and out of that you will have to go to tools and pixels all right if you go to custom conversion straight away the next step which one is this create custom conversion or create conversion within which we get two type of method track conversions with standard events which is by default the nine standard events which Facebook gives us. All right. So for that, remember, guys, remember, you don't have to do anything with the coding when you are using this nine standard events. But if you are using any custom conversions, then you will have to do some coding part and you'll have to paste a new code in that individual page where you are tracking some event. All right. So let's suppose you want to track this custom conversions, which is actually difficult. So let's just go for that one. You want to track custom conversions. What you need to do is let's say you want to track one page, right? You want to track this page or, or let's suppose, let's suppose we are creating a new page. Let's just create a new sample page. All right. And uh, I'll do it live with you. I'll do it live. So I will say this is a new page, new page for demo purpose of Facebook custom conversion. All right. And I just put in some random information over here. I will just paste this a couple of times so I can see some more text and that's it i just publish this page all right so now this is one of my page let's suppose this is one of my page let's just view this page and uh, this is the page or a web article all right this is one page on my website page or a post or any damn thing which has a url and i want to track some activity which a visitor does on this particular page right so what i need to do the for that i will have to say url equals let's suppose url equals now that depends on you whether you want to use url contains then you will have to add some keywords over here which you might want to track or you say url equals which would be the entire url so let's suppose you want to track an activity which is done on this page which is having the url as this one so you'll copy and paste that url over here all right and then you will choose a category from over here you will choose any category from this and you will say let's suppose you want to track one purchase all right let's suppose you have some purchase being done on that page and you want to track the purchase or you want to track a lead or you want to track let's say add to basket let's just go to add to basket all right let's say you are an e-commerce business and you want to track that particular add to cart event which is there on your page so i'll just say this and i'll pick on next and I will enter the name of this as, um, let's say, what do you tell? Demo add to basket, all right? And I can set a custom conversion value as well. If you, if it is a purchase, let's suppose if it is a purchase and if that purchase is worth $10, you can just put a custom conversion value as $10 or if you don't have any, you can just keep it optional, all right? This is just for your reference. Don't worry about that. So this is just for your reference setting the conversion value. All right, but make sure if you are creating custom conversions like this, then Facebook allows you to create up to 20 custom conversions, no more than 20 custom conversions for one Facebook account, for one Facebook ads account. All right, so make sure you don't exceed that because you won't be able to do that. But you can, what you can do is if you have reached 20 custom conversions, then you can just delete a couple of them, which you don't require. And then you can just once again, create new ones. And once again, you can reach up to 20 and then you can stop. All right. So that's the limitation. Or if you don't want to go by this custom conversion, you can straight away go to that standard events. You can just select any one of them and that's it. You don't have to do any more in that. 
right? But that's very easy. So that's the reason why for this demonstration purpose, we are taking this custom conversion. So let's suppose demo add to basket. This is my custom conversion or a standard pivot, which I have created, which is like demo add to basket. I'll say done. All right. So in my custom conversions, I will have this custom conversion as well. Right. But for this, what I need to do, all right, for this now, while I'm creating an ads or maybe let's just go to creating an ad over here. So I will say create an ad, create an ad word or probably I can just straight away go to this or right, demo add to basket. Let's just go to that custom conversion straight away demo add to basket. And once I'm on that page, I can see this particular code over here. All right. And you will see that demo add to basket is not active, all right, because there is no activity yet. So if I just hover over this, it would say that we haven't received any activity for this custom conversion yet. So make sure that the custom conversion is properly configured and matches the activity from your pixel. All right. So for that, what you need to do is you will have to give some value. All right. Let's say this is the demo Facebook pixel, the actual pixel, all right, the actual pixel, which is there. So you will have to view that pixel, the one which you inserted into your header.php, the actual base code. So just copy this base code, go to your individual page edit, all right, and scroll down right at the bottom. You will have this conversion and remarketing code which is done by that plugin, which we have installed in our previous videos. So now for this individual page where we want to track one event, which is like add to cart, which is done by a visitor, how to track that particular event. So we'll copy that Facebook pixel entire code over here, but I will change one particular thing, which is the standard event. All right. And the standard event would always be before this script, wherever you see this ending script, Right before that, whatever you see like this, FBQ, track, page view, this is the standard event which you need to change. All right. So for that, what you need to do is go over here and see more the conversion tracking. So add to cart is your custom conversion, which you want to track. So you'll just have to copy this and paste it over here, right? Add to cart. And then what I need to do is I'll click on update. Right. So now it is updated and I will visit that page once again. So I'll say refresh and now it should trigger that pixel straight away. All right. So now I'll once again go to this one and let's just refresh this page and check whether it is active or not. So let it just load a couple of times. All right. So bingo. Now my demo add to basket custom conversion is also active. All right. This is also active. So now what I need to do is straight away if I want to create one advertisement. So I'll create an ad. All right. While creating that ad, what I need to do is I'll select that type of ad which says increase conversions to website. All right. So let it just load. And there you go. I'll click on this increase conversion on my website. And then I'll select the URL where I want people to go. So this is my URL. And now I will select the custom conversion over here. And there you go. This is my custom conversion demo add to basket. So I click on this and check this out. Your advert will be optimized for demo add to basket and your Facebook pixel will also track all other conversions that you have set up. And that's it. Now you will be creating a normal advertisement which you just create for send people to your website. All right. And there you go. Then you will be tracking each and every single activity which is related to demo add to basket on this particular page on this particular advertisement and this is how you install and create a custom conversion right so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any doubts or anything and any issue regarding this facebook pixel then do comment right below this video and see you in the next one till then take care